As we raised that issue this morning, just this morning, mm. a councillorship uh, yeah. candidate in the Alpha rerun election in Kwara State uh, says he did not win. He was a member of the PDP. He claims his party did not win the election, even though the state electoral commissioner has declared him winner. And uh, he's moving over to the APC. Now, some people say that it would have just been easier for him to have taken the, the seat and then cross carpet as is usually done in many quarters. And even now, it will seem that there is nothing illegal about doing just that. Well, I, I don't know what is happening, Cora. I, I have, I can't comment on it. I know. What I was trying to bring out is the mm. example, or because what you just suggested is that when many members, if a member is a registered or expelled or, you know, leaves the party for whatever reason, that person should automatically lose the seat. Is yeah. That, is that I, what you're suggesting? As it were, as yeah. it were, because there's no room for, 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 for zero party or non party. Uh, Exactly, but in this particular case, mm. it would seem that members have leeway of any political party to cross to any other party and still retain the seat, despite the fact that... No, no, no. I think um, there are provisions in the Electoral Act that... That allows that? Yeah, I think there are provisions. Do you think that that should be the case? Well, in the context of our own experience, it is not about idealism now. It's what we have. Mm. <laughs> Do it's you, what we have. The chairman... Uh, yesterday, I mean, lots of comments have been credited to him, ascribed to him, saying uh, they will deal decisively with those who have formed this new PDP group if they were to be expelled from the party. Would that be a way to sort this out, or would it be a good advice? Well, I am not in a position to know what informed the decision of the, party, the chairman. Uh, to take the position that he's taking. But as a leader, he has his options, you know. And um, the best option always is what is desired to bring about the resolution of any problem. And that is, that is what every member of the PDP is, 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 is hoping for and is praying for. And, um, uh, you know, in crisis situations like this, you know, they are... You, it, you create room, you know, it gives room for some form of uh, emotions, you know. And uh, I'm sure maybe at a point he would have looked, he would, he would be in a position to look back and review his position. But you cannot uh, deny somebody uh, his, his views given the um, magnitude of the issues on ground. So what may have compelled his uh, outburst, if I say, uh, may have been the, 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 the level of, uh, 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 you know, perhaps his disappointment, uh, you know, about what had happened, you know. So, but I believe that as a father that he is, uh, he will have a review of uh, uh, his position and um, it may not be a solution, but it could also be a solution. It depends on the issues on ground. Are you, are you in any other faction of the PDP? I'm not, I'm not in any faction. My faction is the PDP. You know, it, becomes, <laughs> yes. it becomes very difficult for people to recognize which is the PDP but The PDP under the leadership of Bamanga, which, whose name is there in Anek for now. Mm. So of course. Uh, how is it? Because uh, we've heard so many stories, read so many, and also saw some moves on television about reconciliation, bringing uh, those uh, that have actually uh, been disgruntled or tried to split out of the PDP. How far has that move gone? Well, uh, it has been an ongoing process, and uh, that has been one of the issues that uh, has occupied the present leadership of the party. I am a product of that process but for the reach out but uh, Bamanga himself appealing and uh, talking to me I would have considered coming back to the party because uh, I take note I was the founding governor of PDP in my state and all of a sudden after eight years somebody is telling you or was telling you that you cannot belong to the same party that you labeled to put in place you know so the best thing is not to quarrel over it, but to step aside. And uh, 
So the reconciliation process has been ongoing, and, uh, and, and quite a number of people have been coming on board, and it's yielding results. I'm one of them, and quite a number are still being expected. You know. So for me, um, the, the party, as much as it's going through challenges, is also in one way or the other getting back its original members that will add value. Okay. Uh, are you still a close associate, maybe politically, of uh, Elijah Tiku Ababaka? I do understand. You were politically close to him. And I, mm. he was governor. You were on board as deputy, but he went on to become vice. You became governor. And so that relationship was there. Is he still there? Well, I wouldn't tell you that uh, he's there because uh, for quite some time, he was in PDP uh, while well, I was out of PDP at a point. And uh, uh, if we were that on the same page, I wouldn't have been, you know, here speaking on, on this program. You know, I do. to answer your question, for now, we are not on the same political page. But you have an advantage over some others. But we're in the same party, PDP. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because you understand, some, maybe he's uh, thinking sometimes politically. So the question will be, why do you think he'll be associated or be in this group called the new PDP? Some also say, look, he's even leading some of these governors. Honestly, I'm not in a position to say so. Maybe you can invite him to this program and ask him. But do you think that he should be with this group, this new PDP group? Well, I don't know. He's, 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 he's a very matured person. Take note that he was a vice president. So he's in a position to take a decision for himself. And I'm not his political advisor. I'm not in a position to know his mindset. You know, for you coming back to the PDP, uh, having been talked to and pleaded with to come back, it means that there's some kind of good in the PDP. Uh, aren't you disturbed that as we move towards 2015 with all of this going on in your party, it just might cause your party victory here? This was a party on whose platform I served this country for eight years as a governor. So I cannot deny it. The party gave me that opportunity. So aren't you worried? But for some distractions, you know, uh, my, my, my involvement would have been unbroken, you know. And uh, coming to 2015, uh, I am one of the party leaders or members that uh, believe that the PDP has its own internal mechanism of dealing with issues and resolving them before the elections. I am one of those that strongly believe that all these um, issues that are coming up they are not unusual, but again, there are issues that uh, they don't have precedence. And so you cannot uh, really guarantee that they will reach the crossing line. You know? So I am not really disturbed and distracted or discouraged by what is happening. Even if they stick to their guns, that they will not come back to the PDP. Well, they, they, you see, uh, they are, you know, they. The beauty of life is that there is nobody that is really uh, indispensable, you know. And, uh, even in the scriptures, for, 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 for those that God uses and dispenses of, there are others for him to use, you know. So, I mean, uh, the, the, the best thing in politics is to uh, take it that there are people out there also that are struggling for this opportunity. And so I, I, I am encouraging and urging the members of the party not to be really discouraged by these things that are happening. They are expected, but they are not insurmountable. But they say that the governors control the structure in the state of the party. So if a governor is expelled from the state and the party, they say he, can go, he will go with the structure, and that will be a minus to the party. But in this case, if they are seven, you see, uh, I am I am a typical example, you know, of, of what you are talking about. In two thousand and seven, 
In fact, by 2006, the Vice President, then Vice President Atiku, and my good self, were almost excluded out of the party. And, you know, ordinarily, because, you know, it's not actually easy to um, uh, dispense of the services of a governor. But at the same time, once you are well rooted as a party, you'll be able to, you know, take note that this party has produced governors in almost all these states where, you know, uh, some of these governors that are raising issues, you know, and they, they still have people out there. They still have their structures on ground, you know. So PDP is a very rich party in terms of followership, you know, in terms of uh, its capacity to overcome its problems. I, I don't, it's not a party that you can just come and uh, cause some earthquake inside it and uh, think that it will collapse. Like that. It's so not like it. Is it rich enough? to dispense with Very, the services of the seven No, members. I'm not saying so. I'm not saying so. But the party has the capacity to also fill the vacuum. You know, were we not there? Was Daria not uh, a governor? Was there not a governor? In all these states, is it not still the same PDP? Hmm. That is controlling. Well, are right? you afraid of the emergence of the APC? No, no, no. no. Quite a number of those in APC are from PDP. So how can we be afraid of APC? It's not, uh, of course, we know they, are, they came out with some elements of populism, but uh, that is not enough in Nigerian kind of politics. All right, uh, Ron Harun is a former governor in Adamawa State. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right.